We're talking property on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. Now, private property draws quite the crowd, and all of them searching for something different, whether it is to rent, to buy, or even to sell. Simon Brace, CEO of Private Property, and our property expert is sitting down to chat to us about who searches this popular website, how they search, and who are the ones making it all happen. Simon, lovely to hang out with you again, man. Yeah, good to be back. Yeah, that's it. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So I hope the early morning is not too messy for you this morning. <laughs> Listen, so I know that there's you know a lot of people logging onto the website, um, but they do it for various reasons, not only to search for property. I mean, we've got lots and lots of people on the website, and obviously the majority of them are interested in property because that's fundamentally what we do. But uh, we run a survey on the site regularly, and we kind of ascertain what the motivations are that bring people to the website. And it's actually fascinating when you look at the results. Uh, obviously, you've got your first-time buyers that are looking to get into the market and they're trying to establish uh, whether it's the right time or, or whether the neighborhood that they're looking at is the right one. You've got uh, families upscaling their, their lifestyle, you know, looking for that next home, that garden, that, you know, the extra space for the kids to run around. You've got the guys downsizing. You've got investors looking for the next deal, bank repos or property developments. So there are all sorts of motivations that come into it. Uh, but what's, what's really interesting is how many people are actually just there to look. You know, window shoppers, uh, people that are just checking out what's on the market, uh, no real intent to buy, but just interested in what they can find. And this is great. You mentioned window shoppers. I mean, I go into websites quite often and I just look around, even though I'm not currently you know, in the markets. But I mean, just how many people are browsing your website at the moment? Well, if you think about it, uh, we've got over a million browsers on the site at any uh, month during the year. So there's you know millions of eyeballs that are looking at yeah. this property website. But uh, there are only really 20,000 registered sales in South Africa every month. So that kind of gives you an indication of the difference. You know, 20,000 sales for millions of, uh, of potential buyers. So it's not just that people are not finding what they're looking for. It's actually that they're just there to enjoy themselves. They're enjoying mm -hmm. uh, looking at the properties. They're kind of like getting a sense of the market. Uh, did I buy for the right price? Uh, what is my neighbor selling for? Uh, what do good kitchens and bathrooms look like these days? Uh, just, just enjoying the site and enjoying mm -hmm. perusing. I think South Africans in particular love this idea of property. Uh, we're very house proud as a nation. So a property website like ours gets a lot of incidental traffic. Mm -hmm. Lots of guys just, um, I think you could call them property addicts, you know, <laughs> addicted to, to property and what it's got to offer. Absolutely. I mean, you almost dream while you're looking at the website. That is my home one day. Listen, I want to talk to you about the app, the private property app. I mean, very, very exciting. It's launched. Um, what goes into making this app? Because obviously looking at the website, I mean, there's so many different factors involved as well. Well, it's, it's good that you bring up the app because that's like the ultimate tool for these property addicts. These people that are, you know, just mad about property, they like to get the latest listings arrive in their pocket, you know, at their fingertips, just browse through everything that's going on. And uh, the app really offers them the best experience to do that. Uh, we've got a great team of technologists back at the office that really spend time understanding uh, what goes into to the user experience that people uh, expect uh, working on every little feature, every little detail. I mean, the planning and the design that goes into where every little pixel is placed uh, is quite exceptional. And I think you see that when you use the app. Uh, it's a really glossy, smooth, uh, and I think that's what we really try and drive towards. Uh, property and, and finding your next home shouldn't be a difficult process. It should be an awesome experience. And so, uh, yeah, we, we certainly try and do that with the app and it uh, takes countless hours mm -hmm. to get it right. I mean, I love what you said. I mean, you're trying to simplify the whole process of house buying. And I mean, if you think about it, I mean, your dream home, I mean, you can literally buy your dream home just by taking your phone out of your pocket. I mean, that's how easy you guys are making it. So it's thank you. It's becoming easier and easier. It's really fantastic. Absolutely, man. So what are your tip of the day? Well, tip of the day is certainly if you're interested in property on any level, you know, whether you're looking to buy, rent, or just take a browse, uh, download our app and make sure that you don't miss out. Perfect. Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property. Well, there you have it. As simple as that, make sure to download the Private Property app, just like Simon said today, that you don't miss out on your dream home. For more info, of course, you can log on to www.privateproperty.co.za.